welcome to our channel if you've not yet subscribed to our channel subscribe to our channel click up the bell button to get notified about latest videos myself surya av from surya's life science today in this video we are going to discuss about the bio sensors so first of all what is a bio sensor a bio sensor is a device which uses living organisms or biological molecules especially enzymes or antibodies to detect the presence of chemicals in the samples which we are providing so in the image shown in the screen you can see a basic schematic diagram of a bio sensor so you can see the target molecules a bioreceptor for interact with the target molecule and also a transducer to transduce the impulse received as a result of the interaction between the target and the bioreceptor and finally the impulse received from the bioreceptor and transduced with the help of a transducer will be converted to voltage and it will be fed to the digital display which will show the concentration or the content of the target molecules present in the sample which we have provided so next let us discuss about the history of biosensors so the father of biosensor is Leland C Clark who invented the Clark oxygen electrode a pivotal device that allows real time monitoring of patients blood oxygen level and has made surgery safe and more successful for millions of people around the world apart from the calculation of the real time blood oxygen levels it can also be used for the calculation of dissolved oxygen content in water bodies for example water bodies affected with eutrophication a serious problem which will reduce the dissolved oxygen content and it is necessary to know the dissolved oxygen content in those water bodies to calculate the biological oxygen demand and to take further steps so that's all about the history of biosensors next let us discuss some basic information about the oxygen electrode that is clark oxygen electrode so this is a image of a clark oxygen electrode we have a silver electrode and platinum electrode which is connected by an circuit consisting of an ammeter voltmeter and a battery for creating a potential difference between the electrode and when we place this biosensor clark oxygen sensor inside the medium or the sample to be tested for oxygen the oxygen molecules will enter through them oxygen permeable teflon membrane and it will react with a platinum electrode as a result of interaction with the platinum electrode the oxygen will be reduced and electrons will be released this electrons will flow through the electrodes and electric current will be produced this electric current is directly proportional to the concentration of the oxygen in the sample and this electric current will be converted to voltage signals it will be amplified with the help of an amplifier and fed to the digital display where we can see the amount of oxygen present in the sample so that's all about a clark oxygen electrode next let us discuss about the components of a biosensor so the first important thing is an analyte or the sample it may be an anti corpse that is an antibody it may be a chemical a pollutant or dna or any other type of bio molecule next we have the receptors for interacting with the analyte these receptors are made up of enzymes antibodies antigen dna rna polypeptides and also some receptors are made up of complete cell of microorganism and next we have the transducer to transmit the signals or the impulses produced as a result of the interaction between the bioreceptor and the analyte this transducer consists of an electrode in some biosensor and qcm that is quartz crystal micro balance in piezoelectric biosensor and in case of optical biosensor optical fibers are present inside the transducer this transducer will receive the impulses from the receptor and transduce it to a processing system where it will be converted to voltage and amplified to enhance the signal and fed to a digital display or a graph like this so this is a basic components of a biosensor next let us discuss about the types of biosensor there are totally five important types of biosensor a calorimetric biosensor a potentiometric biosensor and an amperometric biosensor and uh, also optical biosensors and piezoelectric biosensor 
So now let us discuss about each type of biosensors in detail. The first type of biosensor is a calorimetric biosensor. The name itself says that it is something related to energy. So we know that most of the enzymatic reactions are exothermic that is energy releasing in the form of Eat. So we can relate the heat energy released in a reaction to the concentration of the target molecules we are looking for. For example, in case of the cholesterol measurement, when the cholesterol reacts with the cholesterol oxidase enzyme, 53 kilojoules of heat energy is produced per molecule of cholesterol and this heat produced is directly proportional to the cholesterol molecules in the sample we are providing. So this is a schematic diagram of a calorimetric biosensor. It consists of an outer insulated box, an aluminium block, an heat exchanger, a packed bed bioreactor with immobilized enzymes and electronic circuits to transduce the signals. The sample we provide will enter the biosensor through the sample stream inlet. It will enter the aluminium block, cross through the heat exchanger and will enter the packed bed bioreactor which consists of immobilized enzyme. Before entering the packed bed bioreactor, the temperature of the sample will be measured and after reacting with the enzymes present in the packed bed bioreactor, again the temperature will be measured. By knowing the temperature difference in the sample, we can calculate the heat energy released and this heat energy released is directly proportional to the amount of the target molecules present in the sample and it will be converted to electrical impulses with the help of electronic circuits, external electronic circuits present in the biosensor and we can see the amount of target samples present in the sample which you are provided in the digital display. So that's all about a calorimetric biosensor. Next let us discuss about a potentiometric biosensor. It is based on the changes in distribution of charges causing an electric potential to be produced. So it is a schematic diagram of a potentiometric biosensor shown in the screen. It consists of a dialysis membrane at the bottom and next we have the urease solution and next we have the gas permeable membrane. For example, if you are calculating the amount of urea present in the medium, the urea will cross through the dialysis membrane. It will react with the urease solution. When urea reacts with the urease solution, it will produce ammonia and carbon dioxide. When this carbon dioxide reacts with the pH electrode, it will alter the pH of the solution present inside the pH electrode and this will cause a potential difference. As a result of this potential difference in the electrode, an electric current will be produced which is directly proportional to the target molecule that is urea present in the compound and it will be fed to the digital display where we can see the amount of urea present. Now let us discuss about the amperometric biosensors. These biosensors works based on the movement of electrons produced in a redox reaction. The first and basic example of an amperometric biosensor is a glucometer which is used to, to measure the glucose content in the blood sample. So this is a schematic diagram of a amperometric biosensor for measuring glucose content. So you can see that the glucose oxidase enzyme is immobilized at the bottom of the biosensor. When glucose reacts with this glucose oxidase enzyme, oxygen will be released and this oxygen will pass through the oxygen permeable membrane and interacts with the platinum electrode as a result of which electrons will be produced and due to this electron flow in the electrodes, a current will be created. It will be converted to voltage by processing the current and the voltage signal will be amplified with the help of an amplifier and finally, we'll know the amount of glucose present in the sample. So that's all about an amperometric biosensor. Next, let us discuss about an optical biosensor. It, it is working based on the principle of light output during the reaction or light absorbance difference between the reactant and a product. For example, let me consider a biosensor which is used in food industry to measure whether the food product is contaminated or not 
during the time of usage a strip of biosensor will be placed inside the food packet so if it is contaminated with bacteria it will be illuminated and how it's happening it is done with the help of immobilizing an enzyme called as luciferase obtained from the fireflies when the bacterial cells interact with the luciferase enzyme it will be lysed and the atp content will be released when atp reacts with the d luciferon present in the biosensor it will be illuminated and luminescence will be produced so by that we can know that the food is contaminated or not so that's all about an optical biosensor next let us discuss about a piezoelectric biosensor so first of all what is a piezoelectric system so it is working based on the principle whenever a mechanical stress is produced over a piezoelectric crystal because of some mass changes it will create some impulses in that piezoelectric crystal so in this image we can see the piezoelectric crystal the piezoelectric crystal will be oscillating at a particular frequency in this image you can see the piezoelectric crystal this piezoelectric crystal will be oscillating in a particular frequency when it absorbs some of the target molecule there will be a mass change and as a result of this mass change the overall frequency of the piezoelectric crystal will be changing and by noting the frequency change which is directly proportional to the target components we can note the amount of target components present in the particular sample which we are providing to be tested so that's all about a piezoelectric biosensor next let us discuss about few important applications in the field of food industry by biosensor the first application is e nose the sensory analysis software based on artificial intelligence is used in the detection of odd volatile compounds that is unwanted volatile compounds in the industries for example tea industry wine industry coffee industry and spices this process that is e, this e nose biosensor is just a mimic of our biological system in case of our human biological system we will smell the volatile compounds with the help of our nose and inside the nasal cavity we have the smell receptor with the help of the smell receptor the smell will be identified by processing the signals in the brain and comparing it with the past experiences after comparing with the past experiences the information will be shared with the help of the neurons and the person will know whether what type of compound is present or what type of food compound is that for example brazilian coffee and in case of the software we are producing raw signal instead of smell and this raw signal will be processed in a processing unit after processing it will pass through a neural network made of wires and after passing through the neutral neural network we'll know the presence of the what type of food compound based on the electronic impulses we are getting and which can be seen in the ele electronic system we can know what type of food compound is that and what type of smell is that humans can make a mistake in testing these kind of volatile compounds whether it is wanted or unwanted but machines never make a mistake so it is an important innovation in the field of biosensors in food industry next important innovation is a e tongue so it is a combination of e nose and a tongue like taste analysis system we know that the human taste is produced about 30 percentage because of the volatile compound smelled by our nose so this e tongue is used when a combination of volatiles and their effect on sensory is to be analyzed and its application is found in tea and coffee beverages so finally we have an important game for our subscribers and viewers and if you are answering this questions for the game you will get an exciting reply from our surya's life science team so let's get into the game so this game is nothing but a pictionary so the first question is depicted in the form of pictures answer for this question is nothing but a type of biosensor pause the video and type the answer in the comment section and you will get an exciting reply from our team let's move on to the next question next question is also a type of biosensor pause the video think for the type of biosensor and comment it below 
this is our next question this is also a type of biosensor you can easily find it out if you know the name of the first picture and type it in the comment section you'll get an exciting reply from our Surya's life science team and this is an easy and final question and it is also a type of biosensor please type your answer in the comment section given below and thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more videos please subscribe to our channel and support us thank you